chest x-ray outline introduction pa view a ap view lateral view o oblique view lateral decubitus view right and left introduction reading chest x-ray is an art as you know knowledge is an ocean this presentation gives you some of the pearls taken out from this ocean p a view in this view postero anterior refers to the direction of the x-ray beam which traverses the patient from posterior to anterior direction patient should be upright and the film is taken in a full inspiration x-ray beam is horizontal x-ray tube is six feet from the film the distance six feet is chosen to decrease the magnification of the images and enhance the sharpness this effects can be achieved by placing the x-ray tube as far as possible from the film advantages increased sharpness and decreased magnification of the images erect patient inspire more deeply and hence shows more lung plural air and fluid are easier to see on erect film ap view usually made with portable x-ray unit on very sick patients who are unable to stand and also in infants patients is supine or sitting on bed portable x-ray units are mostly used for this purpose which are less powerful and also space is limited in the bedside and hence the ap views are usually taken at shorter distances from the film therefore the ap radiograph has increased magnification and decreased sharpness of the images lateral view by convention left side of the chest is held against the x-ray cassette and this is called the left lateral view this is also taken at six feet key a costphrenic sclocus or angle b left diaphragm c heart d aortic arc knob e trachea f helum g carina h stomach bubble j ascending aorta 1 trachea 2 carina 3 aortic knob 4 ascending aorta 5 descending aorta 6 heart 7 helum 8 costphrenic sclocus or angle 9 stomach bubble 10 spine oblique view right anterior oblique rao view patient's right chest is against the cassette and the radiograph is taken in pa direction when the patient turns from straight pa to rao position different anatomic structures move in different directions the left pectoralis muscle breast posterior structure moves medially relative to the thorax left anterior oblique lao view an exactly opposite phenomenon occurs oblique views help to localize lesions and eliminate superimposed structures example a mass located in the upper left thorax in pa view moving literally in rao view relative to the thorax must be located anteriorly oblique view 
anterior p a oblique projection the side of interest is the side further from the cassette lateral decubitus view right and left decubitus means lying down thus this projection is made with the patient lying on their side and the x-ray beam horizontal parallel to the floor the primary goal of performing the lateral decubitus projection is to demonstrate fluid in the pleural cavity a pleural effusion which is otherwise not clearly visible on a supine or upright chest radiograph lateral decubitus films are helpful for determining if effusion is free flowing and are also used to determine whether there is enough fluid to sample by thoracentesis a lateral decubitus projection can also be helpful in showing small amounts of air in the pleural cavity a pneumothorax as well as air fluid levels in other cases patient preparation ask the patient to remove all clothing from the waist up put on a hospital gown remove any jewelry necklace earrings and if necessary tie hair up on top of the head patient position considerations instruct the patient to lie on the affected side if the x-ray is being taken to determine pleural effusion or on the unaffected side if it is being taken to look for a pneumothorax the site to be imaged must be determined by the requesting physician the projection is called a right lateral decubitus if the patient is lying on the right side and a left lateral decubitus if the patient is lying on the left side a lateral decubitus projection can be obtained in entero posterior ap or postero anterior pa view however the ap view is more commonly used be sure to maintain the patient in position for at least 5 minutes before making the exposure so that fluid in the pleural cavity can settle and air if present can rise place the appropriate markers to indicate which side is up decubitus marker or arrow on the film cassette right lateral recumbent left lateral recumbent